Yup, what's good, original crew? It's your boy DJ Nuke, your girl. Sierra Nicole. Back on the channel. More CJ. We got the most disrespectful moments in anime history. This is part one. We already did once. I think we did what? What was that part two? Y'all let us know. We already did which one? I think part two. Oh, okay. The fir very first CJ video we did was the most disrespectful moments in anime, but I can't remember if it was part one. I mean, part two. Or part... You one? know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me turn my volume down, so. Yeah, part, part two. two. It was part okay. two, so. With that being said, man, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go, man. You want the first part, you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, like it in with a thumbs up. That's all you gotta do, man. Lock it in. But with that being said, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what this is about, man. He walked up to him with this straight ass face, patted him on the cheek, and then slapped a shit out of his ass. God damn! Slapped his like a pimp slapping an ungrateful ho. Don't mind me. Ah, y'all, so as we know, in anime, she could get very disrespectful. Like, there are some characters out there that will do the most absolute outlandish disrespectful sh that you will ever see in your life. And then you're just sitting there watching it, looking at the screen like, damn, mm -mm. did they really have to do that like that? Like there are so many disrespectful moments in anime, I was just sitting down and thinking, shit, why not make a new series? The most disrespectful moments in anime history. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. There's so many moments out there, this series might be going for a long ass time. So here's how we're gonna do it. Each part is gonna have four moments. Cause like I said earlier, there's so many disrespectful ass moments out there, I'm gonna have to put multiple in different videos. Cause I know some of y'all gonna be in the comments, y'all gonna be like, hey, yo, CJ, where the f is that moment when that beat the brakes off of that bro? Like, I am on a personal mission myself to see every single ass whooping in anime history. Cause like, bro, I gotta add more niggas to the Black Air Force activity table, so why not? So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, get your toes sucked if you want to, goddammit, okay. and shit, let's get it cracking. All right, first up, a future member of the round table of Black Air Force activity, Aizen. This man did some of the most disrespectful I've ever seen in an anime. This nigga stopped Ichigo's Bankai with a finger. What the fuck? A f finger, nigga! He didn't even take the time out of his day to block it with his sword. Man said, fuck it, I only need a finger for your sorry ass. Then look at him, bro. The nigga says, oh my. <laughs> Yo, this man really just said, I tried to cut him in half at the waist. I guess my finger was too shallow. <laughs> but nah, nah, nah. You know what was the most disrespectful part of this entire moment? Just feast your eyes on this real quick. <laughs> this man stopped his theme song. He stopped the protagonist theme song. Oh my God. That's got to be one of the most disrespectful things you could ever do to a protagonist. That's like, hold up. Not on my watch. <laughs> Not on my watch. Why do you do that? But that's how she did. I know. Did that cover up? Oh, Lord. Shake it. Uh, oh, my God. That's got to be one of the most disrespectful things you could ever do to a protagonist. Stop their theme song with a finger. Like, because for real, like, they was gassing this man Ichigo up. I mean, he just beat Byakuya, they just rescued Rukia, so everything is going great, right? So you thinking nobody can stop my boy right now. He about to smack the shit out of this, oh, I take AP classes looking ass boy. <laughs> this man, I think, really said, cut the music, little nigga. Hey, yo, then after that, this man probably had the best exit of all time. This man just looks down at they asses like, you inferior ass beats. Y'all niggas ain't shit. This man takes off the glasses, slicks back his hair, with a no jail, nigga, and turns into a whole ass Chad. And I bet you money. It's, that man went Mother, from Steve Urkel to Stefan. What you said? Hell no. Nah. 
And second child. Bruh, see, from Steve Urkel to Stefan. Mm-hmm. He like, yeah, you thought I ain't having any? Mm-hmm. You tried. You got the glasses on. Try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Don't we see the Sierra? <laughs> With some no jail money. It turns into a whole ass Chad. And I bet you money, he planned that shit too. And look at him just looking down on Ichigo like, farewell, little nigga. By the way, everything that happens in this show, I planned that shit. Absolutely disrespectful, bruh. Hold on, let me do something real quick. And let me just squeeze him in right here. At the end of the Notice and uh, perfect. All right, uh, moving on. Meliot is beating the shit out of this big ass purple glue stick. Like this one right here was just... Bruh. I can't even describe how much of a disrespectful ass whooping this shit was. This man was beating his ass with the most sadistic smirk on his face. This man activated that Black Air Force energy and it was a wrap. Just absolutely tearing through this mutated form of Barney. Oh, bro, and this is where the disrespect began. He walked up to him with this straight ass face, patted him on the cheek, and then slapped a shit out of his ass. God damn! Slapped his ass like a pimp slapping an ungrateful like, yo, he did this shit with no effort. The nigga skid across the ground. I mean, this is how this shit basically went down, but Rota Clip. <laughs> Water down, face Barney. You should take pride again, your ass, be by me, little nigga. <laughs> um, hello, Earth to dumbass. You're the one shrinking right now. <laughs> no, no. Ah, you're in denial. Well, let me slap shit out of you real quick. I told you stupid ass, but you don't want to listen. Now look who- The fact that he smacked the shit out you, then Walker says- Uh-huh. Just like that. You better stay there away from me, boy. Little <laughs> <laughs> So after Fraudron has a sympathy segment, this man's like, all right, fine, I quit. Just kill me already. And then this man was like, say less. Fuck your backstory, nigga. The man didn't give a fuck. He just killed him. An uppercut from hell with a smile on his face. This man did not fall for that backstory, no juicing. Man said, fuck your sympathy, boy. Get that shit out of your nigga. Then everybody's like, damn, he didn't fall for that backstory, no bullshit. Absolutely violated Barney in his final form. All right, next. Next up, High School of the Dead. Oh. <laughs> Man, if you've seen this anime, you know exactly what's coming. So zombies are attacking the school and shit, so my guy's like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta get my homies out of here. So this dude busts up in the classroom, grabs Ray, and the boyfriend's like, hey, bro, what the hell are you doing? And he tells him that people just got killed at the gate, but of course she didn't believe him. So how did he make her believe it? Ah, oh, it. So he knocked the shit out of that bitch. <laughs> he did this in front of the class and in front of her boyfriend, bro. Oh, no. Man slapped the pistol. Oh, man took a whole tactic out of Nigelation. Like this man been listening to way too much future. It was like Hendrix. Then the boyfriend looking like, damn, he really just slapped my girl like that. Like yo, nigga, you just got cut in front of the whole class, like straight up into yard, bro. And then she like, damn, that really just slapped the shit out of me. Like, like let's just roll through what happened again real quick. <laughs> We ain't had to get a replay. This is all fucking shit. We had to get a replay, Chad. And then the boyfriend look looking like, well, Just I ain't trying to have that happen to me what too. What you said? Dead? <laughs> huh? Got time to go. Damn, nigga. Hey, cool. What the f you doing to my girl, bro? The f am I doing? Nigga, the ops is outside right now. Huh? Wait, what you mean, cook? I just saw two niggas get iced out there, jit. The fuck, nigga, I ain't careful. Oh my gosh, what the f is happening right now? <laughs> I'm trying to have some of your bush. Shut the fuck up. Damn, you just need to smack the shit out of that bitch. Oh, fuck that shit. Shoot it. Shit, I told you to shut the f up. Damn, that nigga sexy for that. <laughs> oh, I just got cooked. Damn, bro, nigga slapped the antennas off this bitch. And finally, for our last one, is one of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. This nigga, Kurapika, brought a shovel to a fight. What? A fucking shovel. What the f- No, no. Who the fuck thinks of this shit? He brought a shovel so he could bury the nigga. Oh my god. This man was on pure yeah. demon time. So he starts fighting this big ass Wolverine Kaioken caveman looking ass nigga and beats the living brakes off him. 
But it got to the point like this shit was just pure torture. The fucker was determined to avenge his plan. And then Uvo was just at the point where like he he just had to himself. Any last words before you die? Yeah. You look like a girl. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn, just went the soul out your ass. Facts. Put your head down. Facts. Right. Shit, I'm bloody as fuck. What the fuck I put the damn phone? Call my nigga later real quick. I'm good. I'm good. Hello? What up, cuz me? Oh, shit. What up, my nigga? What the fuck you been doing? Shit, I just called a body, cuz. You did? Damn right, the ops dead right in front of me. You want me to take a picture, nigga? Oh, shit, nigga. We gotta throw a party for your ass. Shit, let me call up the club real quick. Let me get some drinks up here. Let me get some bitches on our dicks, my nigga. Ooh, it's gonna be a good at night, boy. Or hurry your ass up so we can start. All right, Ben, let me just bury the body real quick. Wait, the fuck? Bury? Nigga, how the fuck you gonna bury a body out there? Oh, I bought a shovel with me. Oh, wait, okay. wait, wait. What, nigga? You bought a shovel with you, cuz? Hell yeah, nigga. I can't prepare this fuck. I already knew the nigga was gonna die, so I made preparations. Oh, shit. Got ice in your bands, nigga. Right, nigga. Hurry your ass up, bitch. <laughs> nigga, really didn't think I would come prepared. I'm probably very big ass. <laughs> Shove this nigga in the ground, nigga. No, he just got clowns, nigga. I know that shit hurt. Put your ass in the dirt, nigga. Top of the bitch. Oh, so yeah, that's basically the end for uh, part one of this series. I mean, we got niggas bringing shovels, midgets slapping big ass demons, niggas slapping bitches, and whole ass villains stopping theme songs. So yeah, like I said, there's gonna be a lot more of these because this is just the beginning. Like, there is some stuff out there that is even worse than this. Uh -oh. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Boy, that ass was good. <laughs> Man, literally picked up this big ass one hand. Also, we got a sensor. <laughs> We will sense it. Oh, yeah. Just because it's on YouTube don't mean they come for us a lot. A lot. And we ain't here for no games or the uh, or the complaints. If you just, if you hate people who censor stuff, this might not be the channel for you. Just go and yes. let you know. But we will censor language and absurd because of YouTube. Like a... Boy, that ass was good. <laughs> Man, literally picked up this big ass... One hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks <laughs> him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. Literally spazzed his whole body out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history too. Now you see, this one is gonna be a little different. So usually we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this vid? Well, uh, how do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a mother of black Air Force. Like, dog, this nigga's on demon timing 24 7. From slapping ah! to beating the f out of his own son. Nigga out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said creature instead of human. And I mean, they did say creature, <laughs> bro. What the hell? How you the strongest creature? Creature. Man, All the man, Look at this nigga! This man got 0.01% body fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. How the f you got a six pack on your back, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I understand why they call him creature now. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you, you, you's literally just, I don't know, nigga. You just built different. On oh, some freaky ass. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ! Why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Besides, like, guts. Well, you wanna know why it took me so long to do this? Because, you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot give him a regular trial. Like, deadass, I would run out of exhibits. So I was like, alright, bruh. 
I'm just gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Cause this is the only way I could do it because it's gonna be a lot, bruh. Like, I'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just tell me and I'ma just put them in other parts. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, lace up your black ones, and uh, let's get started. So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. Nigga, this is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fists and just beat the out of everybody. Like this mother took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets this girl named Jane, and she out here trying to throw that ass back. She tried to seduce the hell out of this man. She like, you wanna get laid, nigga? Oh, you scared? Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet? And look at this man, he like, uh, shut the f <laughs> just turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, is like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this And look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he did though. He did take it back. I will. But look at her, she want to suck on them fingers. Look at her. <laughs> Get off of this bitch. And look at her, she like, damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some Cobra Ops type and to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild, just beating the shit out of killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this guy high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the f nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he slaps old girl again and he figures out that she's a whole ass un agent named diane that's leading him into a whole trap so she tried to kill him but obviously uh that ain't gonna work honey so how did he make her pay for this uh, well he gave her the redo of the healer treatment so after he gives her the googlies this man uses her as a body shield then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand so old girl holds this man up at gunpoint trying to kill him again then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face bruh just in pure shock she like damn i'm really about to have that nigga's kid and ladies and gentlemen that is how jack honda was born oh but guess what that was just the first son we gotta go over how the main character was born <clears throat> So that 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 was too much. What you reach over here for anyway? When I reach, you just said you did like this. What you? Reach oh, for? I said I put my hand. No, I said. Oh, um, I was trying to. Oh, get in the car. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, that's crazy though, bro. So that ain't even. All right. Guess what? That was just the first son. We gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Emmy, Baki's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for I ain't gonna count this bitch as weird as hell. But, ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her mans at a party. And look at her, bruh, she is mesmerized. It's like he's her down with just his eyes so then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him and then he just slaps her ass god damn in front of the party nigga so then this man confronts yujiro and he's talking mad sh niggas like your fashion sense ass your cut ass your shoes ass your demeanor ass then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga so yujiro's like oh you want to get disrespectful all right i could get real disrespectful real quick so he just leans in and kisses his wife so homie gets mad and he's like, all right, bro, I'm gonna let this dude handle you. But we all know that this nigga ain't gonna do So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest ass kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at home. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he's trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room just out of nowhere. 
Man, it's like, hey, girl, I came to see you in homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit like, hey, yo, security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, security. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. So then he like, listen, girl, let me give you this sweet talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. <laughs> give birth to my child so I can have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a about property damage at all. So he comes in with Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at that bro with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good. I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. Then he just straight up tells Baki, nigga, you soft. And he's just laughing his ass. That's, that's true though. I don't see no blood. Y'all ain't doing shit, bro. Y'all ain't doing the work. Hell yeah, we just look like fighting y'all looking got scratches. Y'all yeah, mean, you know, go ahead, bust a little jaw, bust a little lip, mm. bust a little nose, you know what I'm saying? Swallow mm. a little eye. Mm. What's we scratching for? Mm. What you think we some little little females? Hold on. We some men, bro. Shit. Pipe down. I'm trying to tussle. Oh, so then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that. Cause boy, that ass was getting whooped. Man, literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again. And he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and to finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually built different. So then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving, bro. <laughs> then he just pushes her down, and he's like, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as so then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. Yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I got to fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Yujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, the f don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me no more or else your ass is grass to me. So she like, I'll stay tonight. And he said, nah, b get the f out. <laughs> Bro, look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. Then she just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my God. I told y'all this was weird. She out here beating up her own son because her husband won't love her. <laughs> Shit. My boy Baki got the most f the family I've ever seen. Shit, I don't know who's more dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and Yujiro finally fight, but dear God, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him, not even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Bro, look how little he's he is massive. compared to him. That he is that not going to do no damage. Why the hell? Yeah. Actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God damn, it's that nigga old son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as the whole time. This nigga's beating the fuck out of my son. So then she started trying to swing on Yujiro, but... Dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Today's the day. This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas want to have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him and he's watching it. So after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the 
Gotta be son. Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Closed his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Busted up into the prime minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Bring shit. Nigga just hit the dash. Breaks both of their arms. Busts into his office and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, <laughs> fuck your ass. And then we go into the next arc and my guy Baki's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up on out of here, boy, I ain't got time for your soft ass connections, nigga. And also on the same arc, he fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon back, and beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocked him out standing up. So after all that goes down, Fight Muhammad Ali and shows him flicking his son across. I know y'all probably heard. We ain't heard nothing. I was like, wait, am I tripping? Let me see. Nigga's eye and knocked yeah. him out standing up. So after all that goes down. Fight Muhammad Ali and shows him flicking his son across the planet. <laughs> He sent that little nigga flying. Then he busts up at Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Fuck? Okay. Now, when you first see this scene, you're like, oh my God, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? And then Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> yo, this man just took a shot. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, what? The level of disrespect, bro. Maybe I can do something if you get out. Like, what? Bro, I ain't finna, that like your that's daddy come, coming in and watching you. Like, man, that's that's some weird ass shit, bro. Like, yeah, like your mama come and get girl, put it on him. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> no, please leave. <laughs> So then this man's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then we cut to this fight with Multibe and Yannick. Now, Multibe has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I have ever seen in an anime. He started laughing. Grab his sword and started breaking it into pieces one by one slowly. Look at this nigga's face. This is just the face of a uh, nigga, I'm fucked. <laughs> That, that just drains all of your confidence. That is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody. So then this man Yujiro pulls up on Yanagi and he's like, hey nigga, you lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit nigga, you right. I'm tired, I'm going home. But not at the Beat the fuck out your stupid ass. Yo, he just blasted his face. Homie knocked the fuck out and just it up. Nigga dead ass said you didn't lose, so that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> and Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm gonna have to censor this part so hard. This man ripped off this nigga's face. He literally dug his fingers into his fing face oh, and flung oh, that shit into straight up. Oh, then he oh. threw his face into the crowd. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would he come for round two against this nigga? And don't you do it just glass his dick into his face? Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit, he had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit and you still ain't shit.
So then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm. But this nigga Ijiro did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Cause <laughs> goddamn, he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him. Homie pulled out that demon back and there you go, it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, I guess all of the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man or woman, child or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His hands are dead ass ready to eat for everyone. So yes, he is finally in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history too, the Yujiro Hanma special. So then he throws a punch, but bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just cheap shots him. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. Uh -oh. Yeah, my, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that. So then, bro oh. just started blasting. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. Boy hit that with the HR oh. Grab 64 bombs. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to a series that we have not been to in Jesus Christ four goddamn months. I know some young niggas probably like <laughs> he forgot about that shit, didn't he? <clears throat> well, for your information, yeah, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, my boy, I forgot about that shit. Trifle. Trifle. Brother, this guy stinks. Hey, hey, but listen, listen. It's finally time to return to the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we will observe some of the most outlandish, outrageous, most brutal beatdowns in anime history. And just some moments that just make you look at the screen like, well, damn, did they really have to do the nigga like that? But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get disrespectful in this bitch. Get disrespectful, right, ladies mother and gentlemen, first up to the plate. It's actually a moment that came out pretty recently, and that is Nezuko stomping out Daki. Now, as we can see, Tanjiro's fighting Daki right now, and he's about to cut the bitch head off. But bro ended up- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We getting spoilers to what we watching right now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, see. Should we skip? Well, at least you know what to expect. Hell no, I don't like spoilers. Especially when you already watching something, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. Let's just continue. Right. Because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's doing his greatest General Grievous impression, trying to get his breath back, Nezuko comes from behind and kicks the dog shit out the bitch. Yeah. Damn! Made the whole world like a bowling ball. And look at her, she angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, cool. whatever the hell that is, all that damn slobber coming out of damn mouth. Like, bro, she <laughs> kicked half of her head off. So they start boxing, but Doc gives her the chop and just slings her around three houses down. She is crushed by this rubble, and she is still angry as sh so while Doki's monologuing and talking shit, Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of her limbs. So oh, then she yeah, takes a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. And Jesus Christ, look at this absolute menace. Nigga, she got veins in her forehead. And look at Doki, she like, what the f What type of crack did this just snort? So then Nezuko blitzes her ass. And, oh my God. Straight up stepped on her ass. Made the sound like a door creaking open. <laughs> Nigga, her whole foot is in her back. And look at her staring at her like shit. I know your back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? <laughs> <laughs> up her foot and straight up breaks her arm in half. And dog, dog, she is smiling. She is smiling. Yo, she is a menace. She is kicking the living oh shit out of this bitch. Stepping on her ass harder than a thong. <laughs> my God, bro, her head is bouncing off the ground. But then Doki loses, so she just slices up her entire body. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and then she just started burning her ass. So then she reattaches her head, jumps up to high okay. heaven, and just like plants her face into the ground. So then she just starts stomping her out again, ass tooted up and everything. And bro, bro, at this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. Menezico was like, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. So then she gets her up, climbs her up for the kick and just straight up boots the bitch. Oh, 
But no, no, we didn't think he'd get even worse for Daki, right? Well, it did. So while Tanjiro is trying to calm Nezuko down, Daki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. So while he's talking to Tanjiro, Daki's like, ooh, a Hashira, you came to fight, nigga? And he's like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time for your weak ass. So then she starts talking, and then her whole head just falls off. In just a split of a second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the bitch. So while she's complaining about why she's an upper six, and thinking like, uh, so why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? And then she started crying. <laughs> hey, yo, this girl was talking all this shit like 10 minutes ago, and now she's crying her ass off. Hey, but you know what? Watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson, though. Never judge a book by his cover. Cause that one quiet nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his backpack. <laughs> All right, next up on the list today is one of the- Okay, okay, I can't wait to get to that part. Whenever we get to that part, this is ruined now. Oh, yeah. the Nezuko. Bro, we, st we still on season one of Demon Slayer. We still on season one. But we have been enjoying it so far, right? Right. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure. We, I think we got sidetracked because we started watching a whole other show. <laughs> We've been oh, stuck on yeah. glue with this show. Yeah, that's why we record so late because somebody can't uh, stop stop watching. It is not why we record late. Yes, it is. I tried for two two episodes. Let's see, let go, let go, get ready. How was you trying? See, Bye. let go. I'm gonna wait till I finish this episode. All right, that episode finished. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go after this episode. Come on, now. Come on. Stop lying. Come on. Not lying. This is in his Not backpack. lying. <laughs> Alright, next up on the list today is one of the most mind. classic beatdowns of all time. And that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. So while Masataka and Bob are having lunch, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke. And he's trying to run the hands with Masataka. And keep in mind, bruh, Nagi's only been at this school for two fucking days. And he already trying to run somebody's fate on the second day of school. So he throws a punch, but bro stops it with a chopstick. Then he gut checks homie and sends him flying. So everybody clears out the lunchroom because they're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight Agni Kai. So Taki and Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He like, bro, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So then he says, all right, bro, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you gotta do is land one hit. So Nagi runs in and gets kicked in the temple. And then bro just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick and just straight up teeing off on bro. He hasn't even thrown a punch yet. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. My nigga getting his ass kicked. So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick, but then we bro ducks under it on some Steve Fox types, and he throws a punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole spin a on that nigga. And bro is out cold, it's over. But then no girl wakes him up and she's like, nigga, you really gonna get your ass whooped in front of all these niggas? You sorry as hell with that fake ass Super Saiyan cut you got going on, my boy. So Taki and Nagi is pissed off right now. This man is ready to beat this nigga to a pulp. Nigga like, this is the first day I wanted to whoop his ass so bad. So then he throws a punch where bro ends up stopping in his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just cheap shots him. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. And, and yeah, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that shit. So then, bro just started blasting. Jesus Christ. Boy hit that nigga with the HR Gram 64 bombs. And they trying to get him off of it. He like, got the way, nigga. The dog literally dug his own grave. So then he picks up his lifeless body and gut shakes. Oh my God, bro. That nigga's breakfast is gone. Just look at this, bro didn't awaken the demon. So then he throws a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts to black. That, that nigga's dead. So later on, we cut to him sitting on man. top of this roof and look at him, he like, damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he picked the fight and it was in front of his girl too. Hey, hey yo, bro. Nah, bro, that's it. That's disrespectful as shit. Yeah. Don't pick the fight and get whooped in man, front of your girl, whooped. bro. That just, like... That's crazy. You the one started to fight. Your girl. That's my man. That's my. Get up. Craig, get up. <laughs> get up, Craig. Get up. Craig, get up. <laughs> he ain't fighting, fam. I hate this. <laughs> Bruh. But for real, Alright, next up on the list is Adam smoking Ricky's pack. 
So Ricky challenges Adam, who is basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka, and the kid looked up to Tony Hawk. And this man does one of the most absolutely disrespectful things you could ever do to anybody. So the race starts, so Ricky takes off, but Adam is still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and moths and starts smoking that shit. <laughs> Ain't no way dog just straight monologues for about two minutes talking about how good his black and miles are so after he's done with his smoke break he picks up his board and just starts naruto running nigga went from zero to 60 in a second and he is gone and within five seconds he's already on his ass he's like what up little nigga i hope you like that two minute head start i gave your ass and this just still got the black and mild in his hand bro to him and just starts dancing on the skateboard like nigga what the f is happening right now and he pushes him down and just holds him an inch away from the ground and look at him he like don't close your eyes little nigga you should save for this shit so then ricky passes him and does a nice ass little grind so adam like hmm okay i'll f with you my boy so he throws down the cigarette and Show hits this amount. nasty ass casper's like god damn my boy so then this nigga does this pose and hits this called the love hug and he is skating uphill. This nigga said, F the laws of physics, my boy. So then Ricky just went flying. Bro just ended up rolling down the whole hill about like 50 yards. Like, Jesus Christ, back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but nah, 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 nah. This man wasn't even done yet, bro. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I got to add one more thing that he did. So they're having this tournament and Adam is racing Cherry right now. And Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. So then Adam pulls in front of him and Show then this nigga just starts tap dancing on his damn board. So then and Cherry says, don't get too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, nah, don't be too optimistic, motherfucker. So then he gets off his board, runs up at him, and slaps the nigga with the board. I said, get out of my face with that cheating ass board, nigga. Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then while he's on the ground, he starts talking shit to him, and he says, yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit. <laughs> bro, pack it up, bro. This man is a menace. Dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final moment. So I decided I might as well save this one for last. Gotta make it quick though before these niggas get on my ass. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He wants to be the greatest swordsman. Who the fuck is Mihawk? Oh, uh, they be. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. But. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He wants to be the greatest swordsman of all time. But to do that, he's gonna have to get past this nigga. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, how pitiful. Weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell, but you know what? I'll give you a handicap. I'll pull out a fucking butter knife. And look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. Yo, pack it up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest. This man got three stores and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the f? Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him, prairie, 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 prairie y'all fucking day. So then Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets stabbed. Man stabbed him with a butter knife and it sent through shockwaves. So then he like, state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real sword. So then we have our stereotypical anime sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. We knew Zora was taking that L. Even with do rag bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as sh it made our boy who he is today. Cause this man no doubt a menace. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay. This man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here, and he only scratched him. Oh my god. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. But today, we have something special. Cause you see, this is not just a disrespectful video, nah, we are also returning to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Because a new challenger is on the horizon to be judged and to take his seat at this round table of menaces. But ladies and gentlemen, 
please rise as it is time to praise the sun because Escanor has finally arrived to take his seat. Like this man's arrogance is just straight up unmatched. Dude will literally go zero to 100 in a second. Like this man is so prideful, so arrogant, just straight up disrespectful. I just had to give him his own episode. So y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, bodying the Ten Commandments. So while Bonnie, Lane, and Jericho are on the run from Galen and Meliskula, they end up falling into a ravine and they're trying to find a place to hide. So they end up finding this cave and they see this door. So they walk in the door and they end up finding a tavern with this dude. So when you're watching this for the first time, you're looking at the screen, you're like, who is this skinny ass? And bro is scared. He's like, hold on, hold on. Holy night. Nah, G, hold on. I'm not trying to get arrested today. So then he starts talking to Bond and Jericho's like, wait a minute. You know this skinny ass nigga? Hold on, hold on, cuz something is off. So he ends up hiding them in his pantry. So then Gallon and Meliskula pull up and bro is bricks right now. So they end up getting wasted in his tavern. And they like, ooh, yes, we like you, cuz. Shoot, when we wipe out humanity, we gonna keep you alive. <laughs> but then they like, all right, bro, give it up. We know them is hiding in that pantry. But then Gallon's like, you know what? Let's play a game. If you win, I'll let them slide. All you have to do is literally have a turn-based battle with me. Bro literally wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with this oh, man. No. And if you run away, you turn into stone. So dude what? just straight up. What you doing? What you doing in a situation like this? I'm gonna I'm gonna do what you need me to do. You need to turn into stone. Or yeah. you, or you, 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 yeah, we'll I ain't trying to fight a demon. Stone. I'm gonna fight. I'm fight. And whatever the outcome. The Lord been stuff. blessed me all my life. I've been fighting demons. He's gonna bless me he through this one too. He's gonna bless me through this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Yep. I mean, he is out cold. And Gallon's like, huh? You say you running? I ain't running. I ain't running. Bro running literally fight. wants to have an actual Pokemon battle with this man. And if you run away, you turn into stone. So dude just straight up slaps him, and he is out cold. And Gallon's like, damn. I, and that's what's gonna I happen stood to ten toes. Ass. I see. And that's what's I gonna happen. You see how he laid up. You're gonna be worse. And that's it. You know that's what I'm saying? All this right. anime. You that's all right. That's all right. You see how I beat that motherfucker? That's all right. At least I ain't wrong. Like a little, you know? But you gonna still bitch you out, though. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you did, child. Only tapped a little on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry ass. So then it turns morning and the sun is up and homie is still laid out. So then Gallon is looking at this wall and he sees this ginormous ax. So he ends up trying to pick it up, but he can't even lift it. So I was like, damn this heavy ass ass. What the f is this mule near or some shit? But then Bro snatches it right out of his hand. I was like, nigga, get your filthy ass hands off of my damn axe. No, I feel sorry for y'all niggas because y'all came all the way here just- Hey, when a motherfucker got his hand like this, see? When motherfucker, this that's be the you motherfucking the. <laughs> why why you gotta do it in my direction? You motherfucking the you you know about that hand. Die a painful death. So they like, hold on, wait a minute. No way you could be human. But he like, nah, I'm a human, I. Right. But the thing is, I stand above demons. I stand above gods. I stand above everybody. I will literally step on your ass. So then we finally see this is Escanor, the sin of pride. And my God, this man is prideful, all right? Bro looks like he put on at least about 500 pounds just worth of pure raw muscle. And his whole personality just took like a whole 180 turn. Dogs like I had to take off the light up sketches and throw on the black one, so what's good? So Gallon's like, oh, you bold, bold. You the most arrogant bastard I've ever met. So Gallon starts laughing at Eskimo. It's like, <laughs> yes, yes, get out of my face. He just chopped him in half with no warning at all. So Gallon reattaches himself. And he's like, oh, yes, I like this, my boy. So then Escanor basically says, yeah, uh, I basically kind of held back on you because uh, there's no point in one shotting you because that's no fun. So Dog gets pissed off because he's basically just been humiliated. So then he charges up to full power and he's like, all right, then you want to talk that hot shit? So be it. So bro just whacks him at full power. Like, my God, bro, the mountains have split. So we gotta be thinking, okay, okay, this man gotta be dead, right? Right? This man is still standing here and he only scratched him! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> still gonna leave a mark, though. Hey. Shit. But you really what? thought you did something, though. You didn't do nothing. It did do some. It ain't do much. It, it, it did some. It you said it, like, it ain't do nothing. That ain't nothing. 
That ain't much. Nigga, that still can leave a whip on you. Hey. Hey. A little whip, a little battle scars. Hey. What you looking for? Bro, that has got to be the most humiliating way to ever die, bro. You ended up dying playing your own game with your own dumb ass stipulations that you made with it. And Escanor talking heavy right now. He like, Sh and I don't blame him. I mean, it was against me. So then he's looking at old girl and he's like, listen, uh, so I don't hit females. So I'll give you a choice. You can escape or you could die. Just pick. But then she ends up activating her DSLs and she's like, Ooh. Give me your soul. Oh. So she just straight up snatches soul. this oh. man's soul and Give straight up soul. eats. But this man said that tone and how it wrapped around that ball. <laughs> Activating her DSLs and she's like, oh. Give me your soul. Oh. So she just straight up snatches soul. this man's soul and Give straight up soul. eats. But this man's soul is so hot, it literally starts frying her insides. Looking like she just ate a whole bag of talkies and ghost pepper chips. So this man just straight up deep fried her and turned her into a piece of charcoal. And she is done, GG's. So then he starts talking to Bonnie. He's like, listen, my boy, it's almost noon. So you stay your ass here and that's an order. Oh man ain't even a captain and he giving orders. Hey yo. Oh nah, bro. This man's different. So after this, Escanor decided to just take a little side quest. So we ended up fighting Gother and just straight up slapped him from hand with his memories. Then after this, he just straight up one shot of Gothini and droll. And look at him, he like, next time you play with my memories like that. I'm gonna slap the f out of you. So later on, the Ten Commandments launch a full attack on Leonis. And everybody is paralyzed because of Esterosa's commandment, which is basically anybody that stands before him literally like cannot move. They can't attack him or anything. Escanor's big ass is walking right up towards this nigga. Bro's like, hold on, hold on, why are you moving right now? And bro's like, why should I bear any hatred towards somebody weaker than myself? All I feel is pity. So dog gets right up in his face and he's like, yeah. Your pack gonna be hit real good tonight, boy. Then this smoking on a luau tonight. Want to feel that pack? No, I don't. Shit, that's what we was around. What's up? We got a new pack. Smoking <laughs> on your dead homies tonight. We not the we no. I smoke dead homies. Ashes and ashes, dust and dust. Smoke that bitch, let it rest the rest. Okay. says please don't harbor any hatred towards me if you would be stricken by the own effects of your commandment then it wouldn't be any fun for me <laughs> yo this man basically said hey yo you better watch your own powers bro because that might end up backfiring on you from being face to face with me yo this man is a demon so then Esterosa just socks him. And Escanor's like, oh, so it's like that then. And then he just pile drives him all the way down. And then he kicks him all the way up like a damn elevator. And just straight up comboed his ass. And he's like, damn, he getting his ass beat right now. But dude ends up throwing a punch and he blocks it. But the punch was so strong, it drops him. Dog's like, oh, what's wrong? Did a coin fall on the ground or some shit? Don't tell me that little weak ass punch I just threw just knocked the wind out you. So then they end up swinging again, but he ends up using a full counter on him. So while Esteros is explaining his ability, Escanor's just patting his scratch Not like, wow, no wonder I actually felt pain from that. It was my own strength. So he charges up his son and he's like, hmm, I guess I gotta get serious myself now. So he just straight up blasts his Whoa! dude, literally launched him all the way to the lake. This man is just riding the sun looking down at him like, mm -hmm, you really thought you ate that sh didn't you? Bum ass nigga. So then he just straight up slams this sun in his face and drills this all the way to the bottom of the lake. And dog said, no, I'm not even done yet. So then he blows it up and it just straight up evaporates it entirely. And he is walking towards him without a care in the world right now. Look at him, he technically just deep fried him in the lake. So they get to scrap again, but Esterosa ends up using a full counter and looks like he just blasted his entire face off. So Esterosa thinks he's already won. He's like, yeah, I'm smoking your pack tonight, cuz. All that muscle for nothing, you sorry as hell. But oh boy. <laughs> Would you look at the time? So he's standing there, his chest gets split open. And bro starts talking, he's like, wow, you really thought you ate, didn't you? Who decided that? You thought this was over? Who decided that? Bum ass nigga. I decide when this is over. The dog's like, do yourself a favor and fuck out of my face. 
So he just sends a fly. Bro is gone. And then Zell just comes in and tries to stop it. But that's just dumb. So they both go. Adios. Dude just really fried them off the map. So yeah, that was Exhibit A. And it's time to move on. To I don't think we need no other exhibits to be real. They can get your ass in my rip, uh, my round table. If I want to sit your head down, bro, you look unstoppable, my, my G. Who put you to... You got to show me shit else. I know, right? Mm. The fuck you looking, to, looking at? I'm looking at you. You look... What you about to say? I don't know. What the hell are you looking at? You looking at the bottom. <laughs> I'm looking at you. You turn your head. You look off. I'm like, okay, well, look at me again. No, no. no, no. Uh, exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Exhibit B. Exhibit B consists of running Meliodas's pockets and embarrassing a god. So as we can see right now, Meliodas has lost his damn mind. So Escanor is like, hmm, looks like I gotta clean up the little boy's mess. So he tells Merlin to trap them both in this cube. So while Meliodas is in his assault form, bro is talking mad heavy right now. Bro's like, shut your fat ass up, you lowly human. So Escanor is looking at him like, hmm, so you wanna fight, boy? So Escanor is like, yeah, I'm in a good mood right now because I can finally prove while I'm better than you. Look at your drip, whack. Look at your animation quality, whack. So they start swinging so Meliodas hits him with the Beyblade. Let it rip. So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor. And bro ends up falling back. So everybody. Well. Get up, Craig. Get up. Okay, get up. Bro, why, how your big head get knocked out like that, bro? It happens. No. So Meliodas ends up stabbing Escanor. And bro ends up. They, now they all need your ass to get the fuck up. <laughs> You down and out right now, bro. You're looking real bad, huh? Get up, Craig. Crack it up. No, it's just a damn crack. <laughs> you win some. You lose some. But you win. You win and fight another day. Yeah, uh, you live. You live. My bad. You live to fight another day. Don't, don't. I'm trying. I'm yeah. happy. Do it again. You do it. You do it. <clears throat> put your put your fist up. I'm a man without. <laughs> All in back. So everybody's like, ain't no way this boy just lost. But Merlin's like, nah, G, hold on, hold on. Just a few more minutes. So Escanor gets up and he's like, wow, that actually kind of stunk. You pretty strong, my boy, but obviously second to me. God, bro, this man is getting bigger, bro. He has no neck. Meliodas ends up punching him in the chest. And he puts his nasty ass, low budget, stink ass <laughs> feet on his face. Like, come on, bro. So they continue to scrap. So Meliodas swings, but his sword ends up getting stopped Damn. by this man's muscles. I was like, get this weak ass butter knife off me. So then he starts swinging, but Meliodas ends up using this man as a human pinball. So Meliodas thinks it's over, but ho, ho, ho. Look at the time. Oh my god, this looks like a fusion between Abomination and the Hulk. So then Meliodas attacks him and slices him about a thousand times. But then bro turns around and looks at him like, wow, that tickles. So he uses his hand, cuts the literal air, and it one-shots him. <laughs> Nigga hit him with a divine chop. So then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does that feel to get? I ain't gonna hold you though, bro. You a little too big to be fighting on that little motherfucker, bro. He was, he was, you know. Nah, he always had been bigger. He was taking it first. Nah, 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 nah. Size don't. Size do matter. Size don't matter. You don't see Mike Tyson around here beating up on on little Floyd Mayweather. That's you gotta even in boxing you got a weight class. I mean, yeah, size do matter. Come on now, you big. But you big head whooping up on a little boy. That little boy was holding his own. It's well, right. then, if he was his size, just imagine what he would do. Exactly. And what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, hey, hey y'all. Hey, shit over there to but the couch and the wall. <laughs> Ask her what is the fuck is she looking at, bruh? Stop. 
Oh, you looking into the light? Step into the light, Caroline. Step into the light. You know how you just like look off in space to think? That's like. But you keep looking off to the same space, bro. We all wondering. I'm shocked. So then he's looking down at him like, how does it feel? How does it feel to get looked down on by a human? You bitch ass nigga. Even though this animation quality is ass, it still didn't stop me from whooping your ass. Oh my God, bro. He just bodied this man, beat him so bad he made him look like a Roblox custom created character. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> I really want to, bro, I really want to see a fight. <laughs> Somebody like, God, no. I swear. You won? No. See, I'll be doing that. I'll be praying for people when they down bad. I, you know, I'm going to help them up. If anybody want to know, that's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> you will be the person. Especially, that's my dog. Annoying. That's my dog. Not your ass out. You got nothing. Fuck up. Okay, well, that, that that's a little different. I thought you were saying, like, never mind. Hmm. Later Shut on, Eskinor's walking down this alleyway with Hog. And I ain't gonna lie, man's is acting hella down bad right now. Man's is like, oh, Lady Merlin, let me get them cheeks. Just one sniff of the coochie, that's all I ask. <laughs> so while this is happening, the Archangels are getting drunk off their ass. <laughs> Those seals like, my God. God, what is this presence? Is this a drink hitting? So then he flies outside. He's like, hey, yo, big and fat ass. What y'all doing out here, man? Then Eskimo is like, oh my, Princess Margaret has been taken over by a n So then he jumps up and he's like, <coughs> pardon me, but uh, it disgusts me to be looked down on by someone smaller. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Eskimo. Pleasure to meet you, bitch. Feel the audacity on this man. Dude really had to take the high ground to assert his dominance over a god. So Ludocio starts attacking him. <laughs> this man is just straight up slapping his sword away, bruh. Dog is looking at him like, uh, bitch, can I help you? So he starts swinging again. And <laughs> dude is weaving all this job, dog. I was like, can you please calm down with this temper tantrum you are throwing, man? So he grabs him, but he escapes and he ends up chopping up his whole shirt. So then Ludocio basically says, all right, listen, my boy, uh, you got my brother's power, so uh, I'm gonna need you to run your pockets. But then Eskimo points at her and he's like, shut your stupid ass up. I ain't relinquishing shit. You know what, matter of fact, run your fucking pockets, bitch. So bro just straight up <laughs> evaporates his sword. And he's like, you should be grateful I don't slap the out of your dumb ass for running up on me like that. Ugh, the King of Arrogance strikes again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was yeah, Exhibit B, and it is finally time for our final exhibit. <clears throat> I still don't give him credit for whooping up on that little boy, dog. Hmm. I still don't give him credit for whooping up on that little boy, dog. Hey, come on, now you bigger than everybody. Downsize and show me your strength. Because honestly... That's when you was little. You were getting your little ass whooped. Knocked out to the next day. You know, dog. Hmm. I don't know nothing about getting knocked out. Sorry. Who else wants some? Exhibit C. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finally reached our final exhibit. Exhibit C. Exhibit C consists of poking Zeldris and jumping the Demon King. So as we can see, Ludocio, Merlin, and Escanor are squaring up with Zelda's Cusack and Chandler right now. <laughs> Look how he is looking down at this man, bruh. Looking down at him like he's about to discipline his child or something. So while they're he fighting, Zeldris uses this move, and it's like a literal vacuum. So while everybody's getting pulled in, look how this man anchors himself down. God, yo, this man is just a straight giga... Bruh, say, I'm not moving an inch. So Ludocio ends up getting stuck on Escanor's back. And look at him, he's like, wow, you need a piggyback ride or some sh So Ludocio's asking for help, but Escanor's like, nah, G, I'm good. Matter of fact, what gives you the authority to give me orders? So Ludocio's like, who the hell do you think you talking to, nigga? I'm a god. And bro's like, uh, okay, congratulations. You want to cook you something? Sorry, but I don't obey weak niggas. But then Merlin's like, bro, just help the bitch. So then he grabs her like a toy and he's like, all right, then uh, you better have a good plan or else I'm gonna let your ass go right here, right now. But then they end up getting slammed into a wall again. So then Eskimo's like, all right, yo, I I'm sick of this. I'm about to discipline this boy. So this man gets up and he is straight up walking through the vacuum. And Maz is talking heavy right now. He's saying first Meliodas, then Esterosa, and now your ass. My, my, looks like I got a body the whole family now. 
then Zeldra's talking and he's saying, nah, I ain't like them. I'm built different. Then Escanor just laughs at him and he's like, shut up, boy. So he slams his axe into him, but his axe ends up cracking. It was like, you know what, bro? I don't even need the axe. So he just straight up chucks the axe. And Zeldris is like, hmm, you've laid down your weapon. You must have accepted death, haven't you? No. Eskimo is like, nah, nigga. I don't need a hand for your ass. So he gives him the divine shot. And oh my God, look at Zeldris where he's like, oh my God. Oh my God. He's only using a hand. So Zeldris steps back, but Eskimo is like, nah, bring that ass here, boy. So he hits this man with the divine poke. And straight up pokes him. Mm. That right there. You keep playing with me, I'm gonna do you like that. I swear, a poke, a poke gonna lay your ass out. A poke, really? A poke, because I know where to poke in the right spot. Where you gonna poke it? Don't worry about it, because if I tell you, you're gonna be trying to maneuver. Just know. It's gonna be like on my face. Don't or something. worry about it. Just know it's gonna lay your ass out. Is it? Yeah. Mm. You're gonna be like, damn. That's nigga, interesting. That nigga really remember what he said, huh? <laughs> Toes That's down not there. cute. That's not cute though. It's laying laying the law, letting people know before it laying happens. Laying the law. Man, I put my foot down, lay that law, yeah. That's why I'm gonna start calling my finisher. That lay that law down in your ass. Yeah. That was nice. Be one of the most disrespectful things in, in just history. Imagine fighting somebody and they <laughs> beat you. By poking you to death. Mm. Nah, bro. I would bro, never show my you. face again. So after this, Escanor actually ended up losing his power of sunshine. And the Demon King is attacking. And this little thing is licking this man up right now. Like, Jesus Christ. But then Mael comes down and saves him. So then Escanor saying, all right, listen, bro. I need sunshine back. But Mael's like, uh, you know you will die if you get this power back, right? But bro's like, ah, if I get to run the hands with the Demon King before I die, then so be it. So while they're fighting the demon, this man comes out of nowhere and stops his sword with his hand. Looking at him like, my, my, hello, bootleg Sephiroth, how are you? You see, today is not your lucky day because, uh, look at the time. And this man is talking heavy. Man's like, you whack ass demon. I can't wait to beat the brakes off of your ass. So then he tells everybody to stay out of this. This is my fight and my fight only. So they both just start swinging. My God. Straight up rock him, sock him. Then he just smashes his head into the ground. He's saying, you are nothing compared to me, you weak ass nigga. Your punch is soft as hell. So they keep on scrapping. And then he turns into like this ginormous flaming super saiyan nigga like infernape. So we get back to the fight and this man is just eating all of his punches to the face. Then he just started walking him down and just laying all the hands on him. Just absolutely comboing the shit out of his ass. So, I mean, we got a little bit of his backstory. And yeah, yeah, this man was a menace. Straight up slapped Meliodas and Bon, and then he ran out and just literally beat up an entire mountain. So, we get back to the fight, and Meliodas is getting mad on him. He's like, bro, you really ain't gonna let us jump in with you? Come on, dog. At least let us get a few licks in. So, he just said, all right, then. So, they just jumped him. And yeah, that was basically rap. I don't fuck with that, though, bro. You should have said, nah, this my fight, little homies. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can handle this shit. So I'm in a little cup. No. I had to come in and save y'all motherfuckers, so this is my fight, you know what I'm saying? Go pick on someone your own side. I'm a little... Well, he, he can't say technically. that. He can't say that because yeah. he ain't pick on nobody. Right. Home. Well, he is whooping his ass. Right. So the size, does it really matter? You He's his size, though. But he's still getting that ass whooped. He's his he size. He ain't even stand a chance. You was... That, the little one was at least holding his own little weight. He ain't did shit. This motherfucker, they the whoop there by the ass, y'all had to jump him. So, yeah. They didn't have to. They yeah, didn't nah. Want to nah. Yeah, you know, nah. after this. <sighs> the worst part of this happened. show happened, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. One of the only reasons I even watched this show was because of this man, dog. Said, sorry, y'all, I gotta ascend to the round table. Hey, I mean, at least he got the smooch at the end, though. Oh, yeah, but all right, Peter really seemed to do it, man. So yeah, <laughs> after all that evidence, bro, just come in, take your seat, just sit your ass down. Just the plain up arrogance and just the down. absolute zero to 100 switches, nah, bro. There, there, there should be no question. So he brings this man to the fight. So then he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today we will be learning how to beat an ass 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon. <laughs>
Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time for another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outrageous, most outlandish moments to ever be seen by the human eye that just make you look at the screen like, well, goddamn, what did they do to make them is that mad? So without further ado, roll them. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. First up to the plate is Sukuna being a dog. So Itadori and Fushiguro are fighting this ugly ass boy. What the f is that? Jesus Christ, bro, that is just ugly. So Itadori tells Fushiguro, all right, listen, bro, I'm just gonna have to let that dog come out. So Sukuna comes out and he's like, hey, what's good with you, cuh? So the curse bags up and he's like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. Who is this thug ass nigga? So then he starts- This motherfucker got eyes in the corn, bro. Yeah. Bro, them look like he got corn rolls with eyes in them. Hell no. Nah. I'm like, boy, I tell you, boy, you ugly as shit. The f you supposed to be a fish, a barnacle nigga. <laughs> so he jumps back and starts charging up. Is that a Hadouken? So Brad yeah. shoots it, but he just stops it with one hand. Huh? Then he looks at him and says, you ugly lip motherfucker boy i ought to beat your ass so i'm just face planting him into the ground then he starts looking at him like damn cuz the fade just started and your ass already on the ground nigga you best get your sorry ass up yo dog stepped on him so then he tries to grab him but he rips his arm off who said damn boy that gorilla grip done backfired on your ass and yo he is laughing while he is doing this yo this man is a demon so later on, while he is continuing to torment this thing, the curse comes down and starts laughing at him. So then he starts looking at him like, nigga, why you got that big ass grin on your face? You think shit is sweet or something? Goof ass boy, I'll show you what's sweet. So then he hits him with the domain expansion. Fuck out of my face. Oh, boy, turn this man into a fish fillet cooked well done. So then he says, all right, little nigga, you can come back out now. Hello, can you hear me, nigga? But then he gets no response, so he's like, huh. So about a minute later, he pops up right behind Fushi Girl. So he's like, what's good, cuz? Just to let you know, I'm about to beat your ass. But before I beat your ass, I'm gonna eat this crusty ass finger. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Wish I had a little bit of salt on the door. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Now, time to beat your ass. So Fushi Girl starts swinging, but look at this man. He is weaving all of his punches. His hands in his pockets. Oh, nah, bro. That's how you know you're done when the nigga don't even want to take his hands out. So he keeps on punching. So Sukuna's like, damn, boy, you can't hear shit. Come on now, put your back into it. Oh boy, gave him the backhand of the century. So Fushi Girl trying everything. Man, that's a pill smack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. <laughs> now that's that's that. Trying to jump him with the snake, the owl. He just eating it. Oh my god! So then he comes back down, grabs him, and he says, "Come on, now there's a whole world out there we got to see, nigga." Yo, bro, chucked his whole body. He said, "A whole new." Bro starts playing ping pong with him. Boom! Bro said, come on now, get your sorry ass up. So as this man is flying through the buildings, the owl comes in and picks him up. He right behind him and he like, boy, that ugly ass knocked owl set your ass down. Good God, that beating didn't even make any sense. He just beat this man for just for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> Oh my god, yo, this man is disgusting. Yeah, when the rest of this manga gets animated, homeboy is most definitely getting a full video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the list is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. So while bro is on the way to go- My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, y'all, I hear from breaking up, my bad. My bad, I was inter interrupting the Bluetooth system. But bro, 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 badass though. What you said? <laughs> Nigga said, can't touch this. Can't touch this. How many times? Oh! <laughs> hey, for real though. That boy had his hands in the pocket like, can't touch this. Can't touch this. 
next up on the list is Gojo's PowerPoint presentation. So while bro is on the way to go meet the principal, he tells the driver, yo, stop the car. So as the dude leaves, he says, I, right, you could come out now. So then this ugly ass boy come from the top rope and dog said, what's good, nigga? Get ready to become a pack. So he started throwing out everything. Bro threw some fat ass mosquitoes at him. He came from the side and made him Ghost Rider. And then he decided to hit him with a gut check. So then after all that, bro is squeaky clean. He has taken no damage at all. So Volcano Head like, huh? What type of hacks you got? So then Gojo's like, you realize you cannot hit me, right? So then he says, come here, don't be shy. Come a little closer, touch my hand. So he tries to touch his hand, but he can't. Dog's like, huh? The f is this? So then Gojo's like, you feel that? This is called my infinity, AKA my plot armor. So do you want to know what you are, buddy? Uh -oh. You're fodder. Good God, bro, gut check the life out of this man. Then dog said, hold on, I ain't even done yet. Bitch ass nigga. Hiya. Then he says, oh, you really thought you was going to sneak me and get away with it? <laughs> out of my face. Oh, shoot. Ah. Oh, my God. Dog sent him flying. And look at him. He dragging that nigga down. I was like, get your bum ass out of my sight. Look at him. He dragging his dirty ass through the ground. Then he tries to hit him with a gallic gun. Then he comes from behind and he's like, well, if you don't sit your goofy ass down. Ass. Oh, my God. Bro is gone. So then Gojo's like, oh, this is a perfect time. So this man leaves, goes and sees Itadori, and he's like, yo, do you want to watch me beat this nigga's ass? Huh? So he brings this man to the fight. So then he says, all right, my boy, class is in session. Today, we will be learning how to beat a nigga's ass 101. I would like to thank our volunteer right here. Uh, I don't even know his name, but he will be used as a demonstration today. I beg your pardon? So then dog's like, you mother... Hey, stop playing with my name, nigga. But then Gojo's like, <laughs> your name? Buddy, you are weak. You're trash. I bet you half of the people that watch this show don't even know your name. <laughs> to be honest with y'all, I don't even remember his name either. Hold on, hold on. That's disrespectful. When you know you're irrelevant, when motherfuckers be like, folks don't know your name. <laughs> That's how you know you're irrelevant to Come the Come up cause. real quick. Volcano Head in JJK. Jugo? Jogo? Yeah, let's just go with Jugo. All I know is he looked like Squidward when he had the volcano on his head. But anyways, bro got pissed. He was like, stop playing with my name. So then he uses his domain expansion and he done turned this bitch into Bowser's castle. So then Gojo's like, all right, Yuji, pay close attention. So bro takes off the blindfold and hits him with the domain expansion. Beautiful nigga void. <laughs> So bro's like, ugh, what is this? Pause, but who is this beautiful ass nigga? But then Gojo comes behind him and he's like, you know, man, it sucks being ugly. Trust me, I get it. Well, actually, I don't get it because <laughs> I'm beautiful. But uh, let me put you out of your misery. Bro, he just ripped his head off with one hand, and to add to the disrespect, he stomped on his head. Like, dog, the fact that he basically used this man as a punching bag to be an example after he just tried to sneak him, and he left mid-fight? <laughs> Bro, that's disgusting. Wow. All right. Yeah, that motherfucker disrespectful. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. He's very, very, very disrespectful. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, our next moment is more JJK. This actually would have been a Jujutsu Kaisen special if the last one wasn't JJK. But anyways, Toto beating the absolute breaks off of Fushiguro. Now you see, this moment isn't just disrespectful, nah. This is also one of the most down bad horrendously moments to ever exist. So Toto and Mai pull up and they talk and match. Mai said, heard your classmate died. Tell me, how hard did that pack hit? So then Toto walks up to Fushi Girl and he says, hey boy, what's your type? Depending on the answer that you give me will determine if I beat the shit out of you or not. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> this has to be one of the most wildest things I've ever heard come out of somebody's mouth. This g 
Monica is determined to run this man's fade if he does not like the exact same girls that he likes. So then he's like, come on now, speak up. How you like him, nigga? I like him tall with a fat ass, boy. Come on now, I ain't waiting all day. So he's like, I, right, uh, as long as she has good character, she's a 10. <laughs> so then Toto's like, damn, bro. You got bad taste. Huh? So he blitzes this man. Good God, the clothesline from hell. Then he walks up to him and says, I knew it. Just by first glance, you a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> so Fushiguro pulls out these frogs, but bro flash steps and takes them to Suplex City. Oh so then he starts pummeling him. He's like, fight back, nigga. You got bad taste and you sorry as hell. So then he grabs his face and slams him into the wall. And he's like, hold on, little boy. I ain't done yet. He starts lifting this man up through the entire building. Good God. Yo, this is just brutal. So he's like, come on now, fight back, little boy. So as he's about to hit him again, Toge has to come and hit him with the chill out, chill out. Then Panda come in and he like, yo, what are y'all doing? Then Toto says, his taste is trash. Let me beat his ass. But he's like, ah, forget it. But next time I see your bitch ass, your taste better change, boy. Oh, yo, the fact that this man Toto almost beat this man Fushi Girl to death because his taste in woman is bad. Like, uh, what? Bro basically took your waifu is trash to the extreme. Uh, I, I'm just at a loss for words. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> it is sad at the same time. But how you gonna ask that man what just proceed to do that to, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm not it is crazy. going out like that. Hell no. Uh, Heck no. Girl, you said that the other day. You ain't going out like that. You going out like that. Sure, I ain't got nothing to prove nobody. Come on. Alright. Proof Our you. final moment, probably if not one of the most disrespectful moments in anime history, Perfect Cell violating Vegeta. Lord have mercy, what can I say about this one? This needs no explanation. But you know what? First of all, these two buffoon ass niggas. Let's start off with this cocky bastard. That Saiyan Pryor really had to kick in in full gear, huh? Bro, really let this man go absorb 18. And he was attacking trucks, the only person with common sense during this entire moment. Yeah, dog, bro. You deserve to get your ass handed to you. Oh, and don't think I forgot about this bald bastard. You had one job, but you got one little smooch, one little <laughs> puck on the cheek. And you was whipped into some cyborg coochie. Bro. It always happened like that. It's always happened like that to female. It's always female, man. Man, wait. No, the f you didn't. No, the f you didn't. Fuck the earth. She bad as hell. <laughs> Man, oh man, did these decisions come to bite y'all in the ass. So after Cell absorbed 18 and became perfect, bro is just glorified by himself. Man, this is on narcissist level 100. And look at Vegeta, dumbass. Wow, he looks less intimidating. God, I thought we already learned this lesson with Frieza. When they look less intimidating, they're strong as f so then Krillin goes in and attacks this man. And bro ain't even paying them any attention. Man's is like, wow, 18 really had feminine hands. Then Trucks came in and started attacking him. And he is still paying them no attention at all. Then he ate the Destructo disc. Then he turns around and he's like, so you want to play little nigga? All right, then. Witness perfection. Look at him. He's skipping to him. Then he gets up in his face and he's like, boo. Then bro breaks his neck. And he is out cold. And look at him, he's like, ugh, weak ass nigga. 16, you wanna do something? Yeah, that's right. Stay your big ass right there. So then here comes Vegeta. So it's like, all right, I see you got that perfect jawline and everything now. So you ready to scrap? Then Cell says, ugh, I guess you'll be a decent warm up. So Vegeta just starts throwing everything, but bro is just blocking it. I was like, my, my prince, you're gonna have to do a little more than that to make me try now. So then Vegeta hits him with this kick, and he's like, yeah. I did that. I was just looking at him like, really? Trash ass boy. So Vegeta's like, huh? 
What is this? And Cell's just laughing at him like, <laughs> and you came up with that corny ass name called Super Vegeta. Now let me show you how to throw a kick. So he kicks Whoa! the life out of this man. Look at him, he's flying through mountains. And then he just falls into the ocean. So Cell just starts talking. He's like, wow, you was talking all that good shit a second ago. Now look at your sorry ass. So then Vegeta does personally my favorite attack in anime. He starts charging up the final flash. And Cell is just standing there watching him do it. Bro's looking at him like, man, you're putting on a great light show, buddy. This rivals <laughs> Disney World's fireworks show. So then Vegeta just starts calling to him. Cell, you bitch ass, fuck ass nigga. If you think you hot, then stay your ass right there. So Cell's like, I oblige. So then Vegeta hits him with the final fight. And look at me like, oh my God. Oh. Still to this day, I wonder, what poor planet did that blast end up landing on? So everybody's like, oh my God, he's done it. Father's done it. So he blew off half of Cell's chest. So Cell says, ugh, he actually hit me, damn it. So Vegeta's like, yes, I did it. I am him. So while Vegeta keeps on laughing, Cell says, stop laughing, damn it. Like for real, stop laughing. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. It's just a look on his face that gets me every time. So he kicks him to high heaven and hits him with the spike. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, winner is, I went to college. Grass. <laughs> Cause God no, bro. This is when it just went from zero to 100. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit put, good check, nigga. Oh, 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 sweet Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history six. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since this is episode six, why not put six moments instead six of four? Moments. Because y'all be liking these long ass videos. I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep That's on doing it. But anyways, but, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our first moment, Itachi Little Bro and Sasuke. Ah, yes, the time where we didn't know anything. The time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up to the leaf, and they was not playing games, bro, before they even got to Naruto. This man Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest genjutsu. He was stabbing this nigga for 72 hours. Bro, put this man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And he was like, oh my God. Don't give up on me now, we're just getting started. We still have 71 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds left. And this man Kakashi like, oh nah bro, you telling me it's only been one second? Oh me, oh my god! So after he finished torturing this man for basically three days in the water Tsukiyomi, bro pulls up on Naruto and he's like, hey what's good little nigga? Go on and uh, huh, take a step outside for us real quick. Yes, that's right. Mm, Sami had us drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to gobble you up and swallow you. Yo, Kisame, shut the f up! <sighs> this nigga pain really partnered me with this zesty ass shark. Mm, you're such a buzzkill, Itachi. Have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. And this man Itachi, like, oh wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke. Oh, hell no. You ain't finna talk to me, brother or not. Nigga, I will whoop your ass and lay you down in grass, bro. You, you get it? Yeah. Rushes this man with a Chidori. But bro slaps his shit to the side and grabs his hand. No. And he's like, wow. <laughs> is this all you got, little nigga? 
I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist and looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you little boy. So bro kicks this man across the entire hallway and he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against the wall. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So he started running at man's. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit the down, then bro started beating him. And Naruto's just watching it like, oh my God, this nigga is beating his ass. <laughs> Thank God I don't have any family. Even Jiraiya's like, damn, <laughs> could it be me? You gonna have to get six to jump me. Then Itachi picks this man up and starts choking him on the wall. And he says, oh, as weak as ever, I see. Looks like you're still a little punk ass bitch. Allow me to remind you of that day. That's a soul snatching ass. Uh, hello? Hey, yo, where is everybody at? This better not be no damn prank. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, God, why is everybody passed out right now? Oh. Oh, God, no. Auntie? Uncle? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Them niggas ain't breathing. <laughs> Them niggas dead. I'm not. I just teleported to this big ass fucking door. Why am I shaking in my boots? Wait, wait. I don't even have my fucking shoes. Why are my toes out? Hello? Mom? Dad? Oh, what do we have here? If it isn't my little boy. Not you kids hey. are Hey, bro, what the f going on? <laughs> Nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. Wow. But, but, but why? <laughs> Oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. To save you the trouble, I'll start off with mother. That lazy, lousy bitch. Oh. Always making me do the chores. Folding the laundry, washing the dishes. Sasuke, do you know how fucking old that shit gets? And with no allowance. Uh -uh. But, but brother, those are just chores. Shut up! And then father, this lazy clown of a bum. Just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. First, how she hit that note? <laughs> See her. Let's take it back. See if he did her. Flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. To say the least, little brother, he was cheating. Why is she hitting them notes? Impossible. She hitting them notes. No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. <laughs> you smell that, Sasuke? That Uchiha pack is hitting. <laughs> hey, Itachi's putting that little nigga through the ringer. That's disrespectful. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Our next so. Yes, that is very, very disrespectful. Bro, like, like, that's your own mama and daddy and your little brother. You have no respect. None at all. Like, <sighs> killer <laughs> beat dog walking Sasuke. <laughs> okay, bro, bro. I swear I didn't mean to put Sasuke getting dogged twice in a row, but this moment right here. You knew when I first started this series, this was going to come eventually. But anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew, or basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children, decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his day, throwing some bars out and sh And then his ops just pull up to his front door. Hey boy, you the eight tails ginger kid, right? <laughs> Not just eight tails, Lord eight tails the fuck. What the y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple. We're about to jump you. Oh, okay, okay. I get the situation. But before we do that, though, y'all heard that new white spice? <laughs> that what? You thought I was killing you? 
Hey, bro, if you don't shut the f up, nobody ain't trying to hear that shit. Man, shut nobody. your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the f out of this goofy ass nigga. Goofy? <laughs> Let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy ah niggas on my front door. Hey, bro, how about we just Man, quit playing wild. and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't got to tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting molly -wopped. Bro started twirling the sword on his neck and was just whacking this like a Beyblade. Chill. He packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke finally stepped up. He was like, all right, then, <laughs> come on, run that fade, then. So they start doing all this spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Hey, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my bad, my boy. Hold on one sec. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right now. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. <laughs> boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. No, 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 bro. This man took the time to start writing down a whole verse mid-fight. The straight up lack of respect is appalling. <laughs> Imagine you fighting and, and he saying, oh. That disrespectful hell, you mid-fight. I don't know, cuz. Lines just came in my head. The nigga think he can whoop my ass, but he fucking turn into grass six feet under him. <laughs> Some New York type shit, huh? Type shit, type shit. Bad bro, my mama calling. Can you hold real quick? Bro, stop the fade, cause he know he's still gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> nah, bro. That is wild. That's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. Bro is bagging up for his life. Even Sasuke like, oh god. My shark guy can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started tossing him around, countered his Chidori, and it was like, ah, uh, like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started munching on Karin. So then they was like, all right, bro, there's only one way to beat this man. We just gonna have to jump him. So they started jumping him and this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally ended up landing a hit, so he dipped off for a minute. Bro was like, hmm, so persistent, bum ass niggas, but we smoke that Zaza on this motherfucker. That Uchiha pack be hit hard as a motherfucker. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. So bro goes eight tails, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a Genjutsu, but bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest clothes. Like, bro, that nigga's throat is gone, shattered, eviscerated. That man's jaw is broken. And they like, oh my God, impossible. <laughs> Sasuke's getting his pockets ran. Where the f is the plot armor, nigga? So then B goes into full on eight tails mode. Then he starts fighting Sugetsu in this big ass kaiju battle. So bro's like, who the f you think you is, Aquaman, nigga? I right, you damn amphibian motherfucker. I got something for you. Uh Bro, what was that? Ugh, I think B hit him with that yeet bell. Oh my goodness, bro. He absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause, oh but look at him. Even Sasuke like, oh my God, bro. Jeez. We ran up on the wrong nigga. But yeah. I mean, we all know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started burning man with a Matarasu. But come on, bro. We all know, bro, this man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took the time out of his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded to whoop your he ass? Whoop your nah, bro, you should have yeah. been six feet under. Fast. Fast. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you were supposed to win that, that match. You were supposed to be dead. Down, down under. <laughs> you were supposed to be caught down under. Bruh, ain't no way your, your ass really gonna win a match against a motherfucker who stopped the match mid-match. What you said? To write his lyrics down that he thought about while whooping your ass. He had to think of... You see how unfocused he is on you? He thought of lyrics, then took the moment to pause. Write to, them down. Uh, 
And then continue whooping your One ass. One moment. Continue. Pop, pop, bitch. You know what I'm saying? All right, uh, next up on the program, Grimjar running Ichigo's pockets. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that this man Grimjar is a absolute smoke demon. I mean, you could tell this is a crazy ass nigga just by his last name, Jagger Jack. I can't even pronounce that shit. That's how you know he a demon. But anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious op ended up pulling up on Ichigo and Rukia. And dog wasn't wasting no time. Bro was like, all right, listen up. Uh, which one of y'all the strongest? Like straight up, like don't waste my time. So bro straight up fist his Rukia in the stomach. Ooh, she looking like my stomach hurt. And Grimjaw like, oh, uh, guess it ain't your weak ass. Go ahead and uh, move to the side for me, will you? So then Ichigo tried to attack him, but bro stopped it with his wrist. And bro's like, bro, if you don't get this fat ass butter knife off of me. Hey, bro, for real though, uh, when you gonna use your Bankai? Huh? Like for real, bro, come on now, transform. You bullshit, you wasting time. Now come on now, chop chop before I put a hole in your ass like that bitch over there. So they start to get the scrap and this man Ichigo look like he could just not keep up at all. Bro grabbed his sword mid swing and looked at him like, really? Is this your Bankai, nigga? Damn. Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face. Bro was for real throwing mans like a rag doll. Damn. Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid-swing again, then he kicked the life out of bro, made him do a whole 360, and he sent mans flying, doing backflips and shit, made him run a red light. Then mans blitzed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking. I'll just tap out. <laughs> you call me what you want. You just can't call me a dummy, bro. I would tap out. But like, you gotta be, bro. Sorry, I bothered you. <laughs> it's my fault. You did shit wrong. <laughs> I was Damn. a bother to you, man. See, you the man won't be talking about you. <laughs> you the man won't be talking about you gonna run the hide. No. You be like, you be like, you be like, hell no, I'm just have to be. What do I say that? In what situations? Because you a lie. Never. Damn. Y'all know. Maybe this no, they don't know. life ain't for you. But no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Grimjow started walking him down, picked him up, and started laying the hands on him. Like, yo, it got so bad, it started playing this sad-ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. Girl got slapped by another nigga. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. Damn. I guess I'm just not him right now. God dog, boy, that all you got? You was not big creepy. You sure you the protagonist? Cause that was a little too easy, my boy. Hey boy, time to go home. Oh shit. Toasty. What's your blonde black ass doing here? Hey, bro, I was mad. I ain't gonna hold you, cuz. We gotta get back to base pronto. Shit, all right, then. Hey, hey, before I leave, though, hey, boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood, or else you a bitch. All right, ladies. Very much so disrespectful reason why. Nigga would put you six feet under if another nigga didn't tell it's time to go. What you say? <laughs> That's like somebody's mama coming out. Come on, boy, it's time to go. You done, you done whooped his ass enough. <laughs> you know how disrespectful that is? You be like, hold on, your mama said what now? I'm going to have to get in her ass. Boy, my mama, if, you can, if I can get in your ass, you know my mama going to tear that ass up. <laughs> she tear my ass up. <laughs> Uh, next up on the program, Spopovich rocking Vidal's world. Yeah, I I'm bringing this one out, bro. Like I said earlier with the B one, this was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beatdown in anime history. So as we know, it's the World Martial Arts Tournament, and Vidal has to fight Spopovich. And yeah, <laughs> something was wrong with this shit from the jump. I mean, look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a buff-ass crackhead with an M tattooed on his head. So they started fighting, but Dell was teeing off on man. It looked like easy money at the beginning. But something was terribly wrong. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this like, yo, you seeing this shit right now? Yeah. Hey, that M tattoo on his forehead is kind of vibe. <laughs> I think I will. So, of course, this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> you got this, boo. 
But then Goku said, yo, she should quit right now. Wait, Dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f*** you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f*** up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell your girl to quit right now or you gonna regret it, my boy. Look at her, she's getting her shit. <laughs> hey, girl, you best get the f*** up. I ain't letting no pussy-ass bitch marry my son. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Chi-Chi. So then Videl starts flying, right? So then Gohan started to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, hm, stupid idiot, she should just fell out the f***ing ring. Dad, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven fucking years and you already caused some problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows best. <laughs> I mean, look at him, Gohan. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far. His head did a 180. But then bro got oh, back wow, up so. and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. This is when you should have quit. Because God yes. know, bro. This is when it just went from zero to 100. This man's Popovich started whooping. Bro started to hit it with the combos. Hit put, good check, nigga. Oh, 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 no, sweet Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this bitch. Then bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Huh. Then bro started beating her. No, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again. He broke her back in a different way, cause so. Shut up. <laughs> and he, he, and everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. Then he hit him with the knee. Oh, my God, bro. GG, GG, oh. GG, GG. Game over, nigga. Then this man, Gohan, just started getting mad, bro. Uh, uh, well, Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell him to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. Bro, this was just terrible. Bro started stomping on her head. But then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, hey, it's Bubba, bitch. Quit playing with a little stupid ass and uh, just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Oh. oh, it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. So then <laughs> Gohan came out, and this man, Spopovich, looked at him like, <laughs> How does it feel that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? I told you. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I told next up, Ayana Koji body in class C. So this man, Ryun, right? He got old girl. Bro, that's a big ass motherfucker, though, bro. Like, if y'all, I don't know why she even thought she was gonna get in that ring with him. Who else wants some? Like, Debo. <laughs> you want some too, old man? No. <laughs> Up in here getting tortured. Bro, pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room. Trying to give her hypothermia or something. And he throwing that sh Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. So they trying to get this man, Ayana Koji, to come out because he's a mastermind of his class. So bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga, God damn, what the f is they feeding you? W what are you doing at some random high school in Japan? Need to take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL? I mean, shit, you can choose, my nigga. You want to play linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his name is Albert? Oh, no, 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 no don't make me do it, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! It's bad! I'm <laughs> Fuck. Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. This shit, I say that you can speak while you wouldn't miss in my presence. Uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that gibber jabbery shit. Shut the fuck up. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. Wait, ho hold on. Tool? Yes, <laughs> tool the fuck. You know, goodness and well, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. Yes, I know, because I'm a devious ass nigga. All right, bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> jumped? No. You see, you got it all wrong, because all of you have fallen into my trap. I personally am about to be all y'all asses with no effort. Please don't jump my baby. Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, Sigmund, take his chain. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, but I'm about to run your pocket. Oh, 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 just, oh. Jesus, help me. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Come on, boy. <laughs> we ain't got Albert, you best with that nigga ass, you D1 prospect. <laughs> oh, 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 sweet Jesus. Don't oh, be flag ass up. Do that. Oh, you a horrible representation of us. <laughs> Not bad. He just beat Albert, a D1 yeah, prospect okay. going to Alabama to play linebacker. So which one of y'all next, Mrs. Bold Cut or you, nigga? <laughs> I know Cabrera. I mean, it's good. Oh, that brother go home. <laughs> now, it's just me.
Me and you, fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come in for my fate. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> come on, bro. Don't tell me they hyped you up all this time just to be trash. <laughs> this jazz nigga, stop playing with my name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, like that. I got you pinned on a wall. If you don't stop talking with your hot ass breath, get your unhygienic ass off me. <laughs> Perfect. Wrong nigga. So yeah, this man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took Top Mountain and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the sense beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you feel? And this man Aya Nakoji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh, the fuck are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion to get some weak ass trash like you? Just go ahead and just shut your mouth. But nah, I and a Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Beat him physically and mentally. Look at him after the fight. Bro looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got his ass beat so bad he was about to drop out. And then you got a girl right here like, eh, girl, what you, where's the man I used to know? That man gone, shorty. Uh. I'm a different man now. Ah. <laughs> bitch ass nigga. You ain't worth it. Cups of the roses. <laughs> nah, Drake. Nah. Drake? Nah, not, not the man that was hiding his kid. <laughs> I can see him up the web. I really did. Bruh, these, these mamas are... But, hey, I'm disappointed in Albert, though. I had all hopes for Just because I told you size don't mean a thing, child. Size do mean a thing in black community no, a little bit. No, it don't. You got a big Giannis motherfucker out there. You don't mean nothing. Think about it. You see a Giannis going out there, Allen Iverson. What you think? I don't think nothing. Man, you like Allen Iverson. In a fight, in a fight, All right, Giannis, Giannis going after Stephen Curry. Now, we all know little light-skinned motherfucker. That don't mean nothing. Come on, come on. Well, we saw, we saw it's with, not about that. Well, we saw with Draymond and Jordan Poole. Okay. You, you see what happened to Jordan Poole, right? You right? All right. Got his ass laid up. He know where he was. Now he watched. <laughs> what the fuck? Ma'am, this little Martinez motherfucker is out of control and he needs to be put down now. Jerome, calm down. I know. Jerome. That's why I'm calling him. Him? Who is him? Jerome, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Him. Oh, 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 God, ma'am. Oh, hell no. Yes, that's right, Jerome. Him. Jerome. And we don't even have to call him because he's already here. What hey, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hey, yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass get in here? Oh, Jerome, he's been here the whole time. He's just so powerful. You can't even sense his presence. Wait, what? Th that, that makes no sense. Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your fucking dome? This is an anime, nigga. Nothing makes sense. Capiche? Adam, get your ass up. Time to go to work, you fool metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. <laughs> I'm not an alchemist, bitch. So just call me fool nigga. Fool metal nigga. <laughs> fool, fool metal, metal nigga. nigga. <laughs> oh god, how did I sign up for this job? <sighs> Stand back, Jerome. <laughs> you see, my evil plans. <laughs> Shut your mouth, fugly. Oh, oh, Adam Smasher, please help me. Excuse me, but who the f are you? <sighs> Pardon? You ugly three-eyed looking nigga. You best shut the f up before I put a mother bullet in your mouth. Let's go. Please. Then I'll tell you not to speak. <laughs> so you're the full metal nigga, Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. And you're a nobody. Do you want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Huh. That's bullshit. Okay, let's not waste any time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. <laughs> Welcome back here, Romeo and Juliet. The star-crossed sons of bitches. Shakespeare made you a pack and so will I. Oh my god, y'all.
y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. <sighs> Lord have mercy, making me go through all this shit for your dumb ass. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Foolish girl, trying to challenge me. You see, here's what I'm going to do to you. I am about to teabag the shit out of you oh. and drag my metal chrome nuts across your fucking Don't do forehead. that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's disrespectful. Across the forehead. Metal chrome nuts across your fucking forehead. Nothing personal. But I have a reputation and a name that I have to keep a good standing. Adam, smash her. Damn. Oh, Martinez, come out to play. Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smashed your man to a piece of meat. <laughs> Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guy like strike. You big team too soon to be? <laughs> that is how you came to play. Your metal cheeks are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn yeah, right, little nigga. You think you're special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend over. Oh, hell no. Huh? <laughs> are you trying to hack me, bitch? Hmm. I have two-step authentication. Fuck off of my server. Oh, oh god. Access denied. <gasps> Where the hell do you think you're going, this nigga? <sighs> Get the fuck off of my screen! Eat my metal dick! <laughs> Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at, at, at least my jacket is a DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. Hey. You told me eat it. So then Shogo ask, yo, where's my homie at? Oh yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood, I got you. He right here. Oh my god. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. <laughs> hey, old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for yet another installment of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, violent, disgusting acts to ever be committed, and some that we don't even talk about. So yeah, you little freaky ass because they keep on asking me to put this in here. Stop it. Get some help. So yeah, let's just get started, man. One piece, huh? All right, first up is a actual three in one. So uh, the Tempest Federation violating the church. Now a lot happened during this war, but the amount of disrespect dished out by these three specifically is just <laughs> absolutely disgusting. So they ended up pulling up on these fatherless bastards because they coming back to get it back in blood after they ran up on their village the first time. And these dudes deserved every last bit of the violation that got served to them. Like you really thought you was gonna spin Rimuru's block and walk away from that bitch unscathed? Nah, nigga, you signed your death papers and you are a fucking opposition. A dead one at that. But we start off with this Brock looking motherfucker talking shit to Hakuro. And see, here's the thing Bro walked into his own death. You wanna know why he walked into his own death? Simple. You should know to not f with old niggas in anime. Like, my boy, you are from our world. How do you not know this? You should know that the old heads are always cracked. And then you see him standing like this, looking like, oh, why hell? I even know that. I ain't even been <laughs> anime that damn long. I know the old niggas off limits, man. The motherfuckers train the young niggas. And then you won't never treat your uh your Back. your trainee everything you know. 
You know what I'm saying? The f- bro, what y'all? The sunny, wonderful weather we're having today, isn't it? Nigga, you gon' die. So then Unk start looking at him like, you know, Sonny, I really can't stand you and your new generation. Uh. You see, back in my day, we didn't have pussies like y'all. All y'all do is stay inside and scroll on that sell your device. What is that y'all be on? Talk t- it's called TikTok, you fucking boomer. <laughs> Uh, you kids are gonna make me dive cringe before Father Time catches up to me. So he starts fighting Pop Girl and he takes this little nigga to school. Unk started blocking all of his attacks and he hasn't even moved from the same spot he started in. And he looking at him like, well, come on, sonny boy. You was talking all that shit and now look at your dumb ass. You're baffled, aren't you, you dumb fuck nut? Uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck you, you prehistoric boomer! So then Kyoto starts blitzing him with this all-seeing eye. And this is where this idiot shot himself in the foot. So Unk started weaving all of his attacks. And then he looked at his dumb ass and said, Oh, you think you're fast, youngin'? My eyes have already caught up to yours, boy. Now let me show you speed. Water breathing form 69. Chris Water Slayer! <laughs> They tell it. Oh. Unk wins. This man just sliced just the bro's head clean off, grabbed his head, and said, uh, Now, see, look, your youngsters move too fast. You want to use all that acceleration bullshit, mm. and look where I got you. Headless. <laughs> your ugly ass probably never even got head yourself. What a sad <laughs> life. Now, use all this extended time you gave yourself to think about your actions. Damn. So after the first fatherless idiot has been taken care of, we cut over to the second one. So this man Shogo fighting big homie Geld. So obviously Shogo talking shit like the fatherless bastard he is, but little did he know he was about to get adopted. Cause this man Geld was about to son his ass. So bro started hitting him with that rock. So then he started screaming and saying, fuck you, you fucking pig. Really, pig? I'm a orky racist ass bastard. No, I should chop your balls off. Wait, wait, wait. Damn, I'll, take you home. I'll, give you, I'll give you all my money. You know what? I'll give you my Sarah J OnlyFans. This subscription's worth $50. Gail, you ain't disposed of this sorry ass nigga yet. Hey, my bad, OG. Sorry. I was just about to chop his balls off. So then Shogo asked, yo, where's my homie at? Oh, yeah, your home dog that look like Brock. Yeah, young blood, I got you. He right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> He waiting for you in the... Pack up and go. At this point, just pack up and go. Hey, I don't know. I don't want no problem, big fella. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I sorry. No hey. problems. This hey. is a misunderstanding. <laughs> this is a misunderstanding. <laughs> you want to tune him? Old oh, man, no. <laughs> I told you about coming around here messing with these people. They ain't got no time for you or me mm. in like, this foolishness. Right here. Oh, my God. He waiting for you in the gulag right now. <laughs> hey, old nigga, where you going? I want to make a deal for the OnlyFans. Hey, come back. A few moments later. Man, hey, yo, bro, where you at? Um, excuse me, nigga. I have a name. You see, this is why you and your nigga don't get no head. I, 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 shut up. Nobody cares. Listen, give me that. Hey. Stop, boo. Sit down. You better pipe down over there, little buddy. <laughs> Yeah, you woke. You just woke up. Sorry, y'all. We apologize about this intermission. Let's go. You see, this is why you and your nigga don't get no head. I, 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 shut up. Nobody cares. Listen, give me that ass. Huh? Hey. <laughs> so while this man is choking out the girl to take her powers, Yeldon Hawkgirl standing outside the tent like, mm, mm, mm. who let him cook? I don't know, Unk. But I tell you this, he ain't cooking shit. Uh. Now this man Shogo come out the tent, bro got Kuraga now, and he like, yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't cooking shit. Shut up, you fat ass pig! Before I turn you into bacon, nigga. Oh. So this man Geld is sick of it I'm at this point. The bro starts walking to him and says, "Before yeah, I kill you, I will coffee. give you the pleasure of learning my name. I am Geld." But the orc holes in the village love to call me Tyrone. Oh. And that is what you will be calling me. Call after Tyrone. I pound you into a pile of shit and add you to my roster of bitches. <laughs> Shut up, piggy. Get ready to become a ham and cheese. And get ready to become my son. Oh. Ah. Oh. What do you think you're going oh. He's running. Oh. He so this man Gail G 
just starts pummeling him into the ground. So then he tells him, well, look at here. Looks like you turned yourself into an immortal punching bag. Mm. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now let's see how long you can regenerate till your MP runs. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Shut the mm. up, bro ass oh. nigga! Bitch ass, pussy ass, punk oh. ass nigga! I'll beat the dog shit out of your dumb ass! Captain D's looking motherfucker! <laughs> He actually let your ass get away. You came back. Came on back. With the bullshit. Uh -huh. We told you, uh -huh. get your ass up out of here out and of go. Dodge. But your old stupid wannabe, I'm, I'm cooking ass. With no said. seasoning ass. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was just a prank, bro. Tell me, boy. What's my name? I can hear that. What's my name, nigga? <laughs> That's what I thought. Now hand over Sarah J's OnlyFans. Then you can go join your homie in the gulag. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go. Excellent. I wish you luck in the gulag. <laughs> This is the Gulag. In here, you fight to win back your life. Now you see, what you just witnessed was a alternate universe. Cause bro got bailed out by this level 99,000 ass wizard. But I mean, bro still did take a trip back to the lobby because a level 99,000 wizard took his body. But you wanna know who didn't get bailed out? Everybody else. This is Garimaru went on a fire sale. Bro boosted his KD so hard when he killed this whole damn army. Nigga stood over everybody, lined up each shot precisely and hit him with a- <laughs> Kill Trocity, kill him, Jara. Oh Lord, what the hell is happening? Lord Farquaad the Fifth, please calm down, sir. Yes, me lord. With my unique skill spearhead, you should be able to escape the enemy and not get head down. Oh yes, excellent, excellent. Give me the fuck out of here, please. Right away, sir. Right. days I've been a long. So after Rimuru finishes head tapping everybody, he comes down and Rosin starts trying to talk and start saying, now you stop right there, you dirty, filthy monster. I shall let you know that the nation of Falmuth and our king, the great Lord of Farquaad the fifth, do not negotiate with terrorists. Good, cause I didn't come here to negotiate shit. Oh Lord, please hear us out. Please, please, negotiations. Yes, yes, please don't shoot. Fine, I won't shoot. Yes, you see, uh, would you like to become a territory? I mean, you're still gonna have to pay taxes and shit, but uh, it's better to be an enemy, right? Taxes? Uh. I don't do W-2s, fucker. Wait! We, we, we have TurboTax to help you. <laughs> oh, I let you get away with tax evasion. <laughs> Yo, I thought you said you wouldn't shoot. Yeah, nigga, I lied. And that's against the law. <sighs> you fucking fed. So after this, Rimuru decide to take everybody else's soul. So he gonna get enough to become a demon lord. But after that, bro started wobbling. Nigga look like he just got straight off the henny. So then he ends up summoning this broken ass nigga Diablo. Cause bro is somehow still alive. And dear God, what he did to this man was just an absolute violation. Bro sent a fireball at him. He blew it away. Man summoned a golem. We backhanded that bitch. Then to finish him off, he hits this man with this mean ass light skin stare. Angel. Yo. Hell no, that's disrespectful in itself. Don't hit me with no light skin pose to finish me <laughs> off. Dude. Better darken that shit up, man. I don't like, I don't like my coffee off. Alrighty, uh, next up is this big ass Tyrone ass nigga. Just being a bully. I mean, first of all, look at this man's name. Charon, Charon, nigga, that looks like and sounds like Tyrone to me. 
Uh, hey, look at this big ass to pull up behind them. Absolutely asserting dominance over the situation. So he like, hey, how y'all doing? Oh, I'm looking for a mentally unstable woman with pink hair. Is that you by any chance? Uh, maybe. Hey, man, what do you think you're doing, bro? How about you just go fuck? Oh. Dirty ass nigga, touch my goddamn all white geek. Look at the fuck. Lame man, nigga. So he starts chasing down Inca and trying to capture her. But then Shinra comes in and hits him with the knee. And bro uh -oh. ain't even move. And then he gets up with all his confidence and starts saying, Hi, my name's Captain Saver Ho, Shinra Kusakabe at your service. <laughs> nigga, what is going through your mind? You just need a nigga at full speed and he didn't move? Bro, I'd be worried about my safety and her safety at that point. I mean, she already a lost cause. She batshit crazy. Like, my guy, she don't want to be saved. So my boy, you walked into this whooping yourself. So then this man Charon said, all right, gang, you want to scrap then? Let's scrap then. Squad, fight me on B. So then this man Shinra kicks him in the face, but he ate it and said, oh, so we just going to kick a nigga in the face. I'm trying to be that nigga. <laughs> he faced by shit. That's not a thing. History month. All right, then, nigga. Step on your lame ass. And then he starts dragging him. Oh, my God. Shinra, bro. This is why we do not Get try out. to be Captain Save a Ho. <laughs> Look at the situation you're in. You are fighting a nigga so strong, the ground is exploding when he walks. But I know some of y'all gonna be saying, but CJ, he's supposed to be a hero. That's against his morals. Nigga, fuck your morals. <laughs> hey, hey, Tell people what Shinra said right here, though. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> We got racism in anime. Nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way. No fucking way. During Black History Month too, yo. <laughs> Man, Freezer would be so proud right now. They both start talking about how they gonna take Inca back with them. But she ends up saying, nah, f both of y'all niggas. So he walks over to her and says, hey, little girl, you better shut the f up before I slap shit out your little stupid ass, you heard? So later on, Reason while they keep on fighting, yeah. starts finding a way to go find Inca again. But then this man looking at him like, the fuck? <laughs> Where you think you going, Captain Save a Ho? You know what? <laughs> Let me bring your bitch ass back down to Earth. So this man uh -oh. jumps into this stratosphere, grabs bro, and starts slamming him through buildings. God, I hope these people have home insurance. But dog started flipping himself, but look at him. Get this landed and hit the smirk. Oh my goodness, uh -oh. Tyrone. I even forgot to mention this motherfucker's blindfolded. But no, no, look at Shimmer real quick. So they about to capture her. So he's like, hey, stop right there. She looked at him like this and was saying sh like, fuck off. I don't need your saving ho ass nigga. <laughs> I live for the streets. I die for the streets. I love the chaos. So oh. stop worrying about me and go get a dental appointment with them fuck ass teeth. <laughs> this that is fucked crazy. Off. So they start scrapping again. So Shinra kicked him. He ate the kick. Chopped this oh. nigga. Then bro said, Clap! Oh. Then he backhands him. Oh my God, somebody called CPS. Oh. No, 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 no. This is when they got crazy. He has his squad jump him. Oh and the oh gang initiation is this. Then he charges up a Kamehameha and fries this nigga point blank. Oh, look at him, bro. Looks like yeah. a burnt piece of charcoal. The soul has left his body. But with the power of plot armor, bro somehow got up. So okay. Shiver got in his zone, got his hands right, and said, Rest up, man. So he ends up hitting a final smash on that nigga. Bro has <gasps> left the stage. So you gotta be thinking, oh, this fight's over. Bro's knocked out, right? Yeah, uh, no. Nah. Bro gets oh, Damn. That's the shit out of this Damn. Oh, my God. Bro, hit him with a rage art. Look at his body. Uh, it's yes. in the wall. Uh. Hey, but I mean, he got up again okay. just to get told off by Crazy Shawty, then slap <laughs> in the face once more. So while she's walking off with the Evangelist, this man Shinra is so mad. Bro, all beat up his shit in the corner. Then he started yelling at her like, fuck, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, stupid bitch. Oh my God, you do not know how happy that just made me. What you just said made me so warm and hot inside. <laughs> Please try your best. Wait. <laughs> just 
Let a nigga. I love niggas, man. Bruh, and then I'm gonna tell you how I know for a fact that motherfucker unstoppable. He let his own people jump his jump, ass. What you said? And they can't, they can't even do shit. Not a thing. He took all that. So what the fuck you think he gonna do with your little dumb ass? <laughs> <sighs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I ain't touched this anime in a minute, but Luffy smacking the shit out of Bellamy. Ah, man, this is one of the most deserved ass whoopings that was done with absolutely no effort. So the straw has pulled up in Jaya, and they end up running into the Bellamy Pirates, being some damn dickheads. Look at this motherfucker. Bro looked at Luffy and said, boy, if you don't get your dirty ass out of my face, here, take some money, nigga. Get your drip up, nigga. Trash ass with them worn out jeans and them busted ass sandals. Wait, hold on, you ain't lying? Get your ass over here. Uh, yeah, yes, ma'am. So then later on, they're at the bar, and they meet Bellamy. So bro walk up in there like, oh, so you're the guy worth 30 million. Who the fuck's this guy? I don't know, but he looks like a minority. <laughs> so bro offers Luffy a drink, but he slams his face into the counter. So then he ends up just starting to beat him. The whole bar start throwing shit, and then they just started jumping him. But the thing is, they wasn't doing nothing because they ain't give a fuck. They ain't give a fuck about the nigga till they ran up and stole the gold that they needed. So then later that night, this dude runs up in the bar and he's saying, Bail me! You need to get the fuck out of here now! Damn, what are you talking about with your ugly ass? Damn two dudes that you beat up! Damn dudes is him or see! Look! <laughs> so then all these dudes end up realizing, dude's bounty ain't no 30 mil, they ain't get the new patch notes. Bro, shit was 100 mil, them niggas was speechless. Then bro saying, b b, -b bail me you best get the stamping. You best hope he doesn't come get his get back. Man, he ain't gonna do shit. Honey mail my ass. <laughs> they is pussy. You know what? <laughs> You're right. We shouldn't be scared of nothing. Yeah, yeah. If they got a hundred mil bounty on that motherfucker oh, head, that's said. the motherfucker you need to be worried about. Mm. You don't know who to worry about. You worry about that motherfucker. A hundred thousand? I mean, a hundred mil? You know what you said? Man, you put a hundred thousand on nigga head. I'm worried about him. Did you say a hundred mil? Oh, yeah, bitch. I ain't got no problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bellamy! Get those oh, big ass out here! I, I tried to warn you, Bellamy. Huh? Shut your bitch ass up. So this man Bellamy walk outside and he see Luffy standing on top of this tower looking like he Batman or something. So then bro uses this goofy ah uh, devil fruit. Bro, I cannot stand this fucking fruit at all, dog. Bro look like Slinky Dog with this shit. So Bellamy's like, oh, so you came to get your get back. No, I mean, not for real. I just need to go. I don't give a fuck about your dumb ass. So they start fighting, and this man Bellamy looks like he's actually him. With this slinky dog, machillin' man ass fruit. So this man Luffy falls all the way down. While this man Bellamy talking shit, and his whole crew in the background talking like, Yeah, that's right. Finish his trash ass. Yeah, that's right, bum ass nigga. So then this man Bellamy uses spring no, pop and hopping out. around like an uncontrollable too. idiot. Bro looking like a kid who OD'd on Flintstone gummies. And Luffy's just standing there like, sick of this shit. So our bros hopping around, bro asked him, ga, 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 ga. do you even know how to throw a punch? Ga, 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 ga. <laughs> so this man, Luffy, lifts up his hand and says, so you want to know if I can throw a punch, uh -huh. right? All right, then. Fuck around and fuck oh. Bro punched the dog water out of him, flattened his stupid ass for everybody to see. But uh, nonchalantly puts back his hat on. Oh, no, bro. Dog hit him with the nigga, you ain't shit. Oh. And look at his crew. They looking like, hey, bro, you, you good? Mm -hmm. This a fluke, right? Nigga, get your ass up. <laughs> but no, bro was out cold. He's missing and everything, but he better get ready for some dentures. Bro got knocked out so bad he ain't even wake up till we got to dress Rosa. Ass, knocking out, taking names, and moving on. That's hey, what you gotta be, bruh. What you gotta do? What's some ass and move the f on? And move on. Go on about your day. Because you linger around, what's gonna happen? What's gonna mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing that to you, though. I like doing that to you. Bruh, these disrespectful moments have been very disrespectful, bruh. I'm still, I'm still wanna be black dude, though. You do you.
Yeah, because it's just something about his ass whooping techniques, man. And to get jumped by my hoe. But hold on, do they say more some more about your crew or does they say more about you? Because if your crew ain't, ain't big enough to knock a nigga out by them all while jumping them. Yeah, I feel what you That's saying. the wrong crew to have, right? Or that just shows your strength. That just shows yours. I don't, they don't know make now. Them weak, though. You just stronger than them. You know what I'm saying? But my, like me being stronger than you or something. Hypothetically speaking. But that don't mean you weak. It just mean I'm stronger. You ain't stronger than me. I, I said hypothetically speaking. No, don't hypothetically. Okay, don't well you being stronger than me. Is that better? That's that's the truth. Hey <laughs> 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 man, make sure y'all spell us up in the comments. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts and opinions about this one down below, man. But it's always I do go with the name DJ the kid is here. We are here to see. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my folks. Dollar, 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 dollar.